This pandemic has a long way to burn in our society. It is not burnt out. What? It is not burnt out. What? It is not burning out. What? It is not burning out. What? It is not burning out. It is not going away. Uh, and uh, especially for those countries entering their winter season, in terms of people coming together more indoors, there is a lot of work to do uh, in order to avoid amplification events, drive down transmission of this epidemic, protect uh, the opening of schools and protect the most vulnerable in our society from severe disease and death. So we are adding about 1.8 to 2 million cases uh, per week to the global case count uh, and uh, an average with somewhere between 40 and 50 thousand deaths. Uh, and, and, and thankfully, that is not rising exponentially, but that is a hugely high figure to be settling at. That is not where we want to be. It's not where the Northern Hemisphere wants to be going into the winter season. It's not where developing countries want to be with their health services under nine months of pressure. The force of infection within our communities, and particularly in some countries, is still very high. And even though those numbers are flat at a global level, that, uh, that covers up the fact that it, at a regional, sub-regional, or in specific uh, countries, we're seeing significant rises in cases, as we're seeing in Europe. Uh, we're continuing to see large numbers of cases in India. And even though the numbers of cases in Central, uh, North and Central and South America have leveled off, even within that, if you look at South America, thankfully cases are dropping in places like Brazil, but certainly in places like Ecuador, in places like Argentina, we're still seeing large rises in cases. Those